Hello guys, in this example, we have a simple input element with a value and our own change handler, which sets the value. We also have a use effect hook, which keeps checking whenever the value changes, it prints out this line that API call with the typed value. So for example, if I type A here, it prints API call with A. If I type B, it says API call with AB. And if I type C, it says API call with ABC. That is working absolutely fine. Now. The use case is I do not want to make API call on every key press. So here we had three key presses and the API was called three times. What I want to do is I want to call the API when user has stopped typing. So for this case, there should be a single API call. So for example, if I type something like this and now wait for some time and then call the API, that is the behavior I want. So let's make it so i'm going to create a new hook file inside that file we are going to create a new hook and this process of delaying the api call is called demouncing okay so let's create a new function delay is basically for how many how much how much time you want to wait before calling the api so a good number is 300 milliseconds. You can increase or decrease it as per your convenience, but this is considered a good number. Okay, next I'm going to create a state here. So for that, let's import new state. And the initial value would be this input value. Next, I'm going to use the use effect hook. So set timeout takes one function and the amount of time you want to delay it, correct? And we also need to clear the timeout. For that, I'm going to call a return method here, which is a cleanup function. So anything you write inside a return uh, block inside the use effect is considered as a cleanup function. So I'm going to type here clear timeout and I'm going to pass it the timer itself. Okay. Now, use effect also takes a dependency array. So here I'm going to type input value and the delay. This use effect depends on these two things, input value and the delay. And after that, finally, we can just return the debounced value. And okay, we also need to export it. So let's export it and save it. With that, our use debounce function is ready. Let's go to app.js and import it there. Cool. Now, as you can see, uh, this hook returns the debounced value. So for that, I'm going to write here, bounced, debounced value is equal to use debounce. And if you remember from the hooks, it takes the input value and a delay because delay has a default value ins inside it. So we do not need to pass it. We just need to pass the input value only. So input value is this value. So let me pass it. Now we have this debounced value that we can use. So here we are using, uh, we are passing the values dependency array. So we need to pass debounced value here actually. Okay, let me delete this console here and save it and clear the console. And now I'm going to type ABC really fast. You can see there is a single API call for the ABC.